Uh, one last question, I guess, before we move on. Uh, for, when you br- when you brought up the alien goo, you said alien covenant. Did you mean Prometheus? No, no there I mean was also covenant. goo in covenant. Kind of... I and I know the um those the uh, jars, whatever you want to call them, are no, no, still no, an no. alien I covenant, think, but think, it doesn't I play think... as the predominant role. I think okay. Blaine is talking about the scene in Alien Covenant when they're stepping on the fauna and they breathe in the stuff from the That's from the, the spores. Alien. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking of. I mean, I know it's not the same thing as the goo. The goo was in Prometheus, but both move Covenant was a was a was a not sequel to Prometheus anyway because Ridley Scott didn't want to admit that he fucked up with the first. I'm sorry. I fucking It's you know what? It's okay. Ugh. I know Wait, I have two not... opinions. I say with an alien covenant poster in the background. Y'all, I know y'all I don't understand opinion. that me and Sarah have had a long ass conversation about how much we disagree about these two guys. Wait, wait just just for clarity, <laughs> Blaine, are you saying that Prometheus is inferior to Alien Covenant? I'm saying that they're both trying to be remakes of Alien. Well, no. Prometheus was trying to be a prequel to Alien, but, like, didn't want to admit it until the very end, like, post credit scene where an alien xenomorph kind of thing just pops out of nowhere. And then everyone was like, Ridley Scott, you're an idiot. You told us this was an alien, and we told you. Like, or, oh. you know, there was that cave painting that had aliens on it. Yeah, I was shocked that up more. It's like a marketing thing. But the... <sighs> But then stop. But then no. you have Alien Covenant that's like <laughs> pretending to not be a remake of Alien, but it is. It's just a remake. Even of Even though Alien. it's another prequel that takes place closer in the time. I mean, world. it's a prequel of Alien trying to. It's it's a it's a remake of Alien trying to pretend it's a prequel to Alien. I yes, mean, I will not. Take. I will not deny that opinion. Lightweight spoilers for Alien Covenant. Um, me and my friend, like the, the dumb recurring joke we had for like freaking months on end was um. So Michael Fassbender, David, whatever, he goes throughout the entire universe. He seeds giant portions of the galaxy with fucking uh, alien eggs and fucking goo, goo, whatever. So we literally came out of the theater just like, damn, he Davided the entire universe. Fucking yeah. Fassbender is the reason for this entire franchise. It takes away all the mystery from the first movie. It's like, where did it come from? When yeah. did, uh, David oh, made it, it was Michael Fass. It was Michael Fast. I, also, like old I'm sorry. Since we brought this conversation, since Jose brought the focus to this, I'm now going to talk about this. I, talk I, about I, just, the- I just want. I just want to say real quick. At least uh-huh. Prometheus had a th- had a thematic point to it compared to Covenant. Prometheus was a few very good ideas that never yes. fucking went anywhere. So it's very frustrating. As a movie, it does not work. When you watch the expanded stuff, like the other movies, the commercials with David, the commercials with Wayland, um, the others, which are very material, good, by the way, they have no right to be as good as they are. I agree, hundred percent. The movie itself does not become a better movie, but you can at least be like, I can kind of see what Ridley Scott maybe wanted to do. I can appreciate some things about it, but I still think overall, like, I can't say it's a good movie because it's just got so many fucking problems. Of, it has problems of interesting things that just go nowhere and weird choices that make no sense. Like, I've heard people say, oh, well, Guy Pierce being an old man makeup is fine because they had to do that because Guy Pierce was in the other supplemental material. I'm like, then don't have the supplemental material and just, or even just cast fucking, you could have cast Malcolm McDowell as old Guy cast Pierce. An old person. And it would have worked. It would have worked because they, because nobody fucking cares. It looks better than the weird old man makeup. But Mike, digress because you're distracting me, Jose. Um, <laughs> also, what was, yeah, sorry. You know, they killed you know, Dave, Dave, Dave Franco in like a mini film. I know. In Alien Covenant. That no, was not really Dave Franco. <laughs> uh, James Franco. Dave Franco's James. still all right, I guess. James. Um, James Franco. But, yeah, they killed him in like a weird 15 minute YouTube short film. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> they they introduced his character in that short, and they killed him in the beginning of the movie. But you're not going to feel yeah, anything about the character you. unless you unless watch you the watch the 15 minute, minute short film. Short. Um, but that being said, my overall point that I keep trying to come back to is we need to discuss the fact that. Alien Covenant might be have one of the greatest fucking things I've ever seen in all of cinema because it's just the biggest like I don't give a fuck I'm a filmmaker I'm gonna do what I want because I'm Ridley Scott moments so there's a fight between David and yeah. uh, what's his name the other uh, David uh, other, other David, David. Yeah, yeah, he has a different David. name I forget but whatever yeah and he gets his face cut in that fight uh, the other guy so when 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 they cut away and then we see a robot show up with that scar on his face and it's like oh he won blah 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 and I'm just sitting there going like I called that a mile away oh, like the I. second so he nice. got that I'm cut there, I'm sitting there going well of course you would but listen I just sat there going like there's no way Ridley Scott is that fucking stupid I don't believe it but <laughs> he, he is old. <laughs> he's like Scott, late seventy Ridley Scott had the balls <laughs> to have a character cut his own face in the exact same way another character was. I'm sorry. 
I got yelled at for being too loud. Ridley Scott had the fucking balls to have a character <laughs> robot cut his own face in the exact same way his weird robot brother had his face cut when no one else saw the fight just to trick the audience and no one else. Because I guess David is is a god being and knows that he's in a movie. So he's like, I got to trick the audience <laughs> to cut my face. It... It it, it it makes it, it it was it made it more obvious than if you had had him show up with no scar like that would have been that would have been like better because at least would have been dramatic irony. We need to have you know what? Let's do a movie club podcast just randomly. Yeah. Let's just agree to sit down, watch it. We can even do it in Discord if we want live yes, we commentary will. over one another. But I will I will uh, I am so dedicated to this. I would love let to it, do that. Let it be known that while I do think that these two films are my least favorite alien films, there uh, Prometheus was the movie that got me into Alien to begin with. with wait, so you like very... you like them less than Alien Alien Three and no. Alien Four? Well, I yes, don't I do. listen, dude. It's a very long story, but Prometheus got me into Alien to begin with, so it holds a very dumb place in my heart. And when it comes to Alien Covenant, I just like to watch people get ripped apart by a xenomorph, and that's what I got in that movie, so I had a grand old time. <laughs> Alien Resurrection is a good movie, don't yeah. I? Yeah. I will. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Welcome to this Alien Tangent brought on right. by Sarah. And ba- back to games. We got, like, we got like 30 minutes. Um, Play Alien Isolation, please. There we go. I brought it back to games. 